Yeah, this is what happened when this shit get dramatic, nigga. If your play don't work on random defense, stop running it. Stop putting these videos out right now. And hits, the franchise guru, your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. We about to dive into some play wrecks. 101, all right, episode one. And what you about to get right now is me showing you a play. You get a couple check downs off of it and you got a shot play off of it. One on one football, you know what I'm talking about? Let's get it. The formation is gun. All right, so it's trips. Tight end flex. All right, that's the formation. Trips, tight end flex. And the play is charger will. All right, charger will. Let's dive into this. This play, man, look, it, it, it takes time to develop. So, the check downs are vital. It's very important you run a check down. Again, we on random defense. All right, so my first adjustment will be to slant the tight end. Give you that look, see it? My next adjustment will be to block the running back and max protect. All right, so the next one will be pitch square on the comeback and then smart route that comeback. And then pitch circle on a hard flat route. All right, that hard flat route is important. All right. So I'm showing you right now, you don't have time to really, really sit there and chill. So you need these check down routes. All right, I just wanted to show you that nothing is perfect, first of all. You're going to have plays where you're going to get sacked. Me personally, I'll tell you in this formation, if you're running this play, take the sack. But there you go. There's the check down right there. Most people still use her in the middle, so they might take that away from you. But just pay attention. All right? Trust what I'm saying. If it's nothing there, take the sack. All right? Now, my tight end was there earlier. I could have been through that. But, again, I just want you to see check down routes right now. All right? Because eventually you start nickel and diamond and this man, and this is where it's supposed to be at right now. The man is available for all those type of routes, slants, drags, uh, flat routes, all those type of routes are available to you right now. So if you can move the change, you can, you can beat anybody in this game right now. Um, the game ain't, I mean, the deep ball is there and things get wide open. When I say wide open, I mean butt, butter ball naked, wide open. All right, but for the most part, this is where the game at, the check down, but there it go. And I want you to see that. That flat route, because of what that route does, is gonna sit there on the sideline like that. So even if you're looking downfield and nothing is there that you're really looking for, you can come back to that check down route right there. It's gonna sit there. See it? Sitting on that sideline. That's about a five to seven yard gain every time you run that play, all right? A lot of people like to spam plays and all that. You just come out in this play, not saying run it all game long, but you can come out each time you do run it. You run it about five times a game, I would say. You run it about five times a game because you got about four different routes you can hit here. All right, and there we go. Let's check it out. There's your shot right there. All right, there's your shot play. Let's watch that again. So here you go. Max protect, don't forget, slant the tight end. Hard flat the inside receiver, put the square receiver on the comeback, then smart route that, and then let your slot receiver do his will route. All right, don't forget the max protect. Now, my slant there, but I'm waiting. I'm patient. Now, right now, I know for a fact that my flat route is covered, so this is man to man. So I'm waiting now, I'm being patient because I know once I get the rub over here, look at that comeback and what it's doing to these players over there. Look how that safety isn't getting over, he can't read it right now. Right now he's not reading deep routes because that wheel route 
is on the sideline. So he not he not reading that as something that's going uh, get into his zone right now. Right now he just sitting back there because that's his zone. Cover one man. I'm back deep. All right. Now he reads it. It's too late. About a 40 to 50 yard gain right there. One play. You heard? Let's give you that look again. Watch what happens on the sideline. This is why this is important. This is why this route is dangerous. Ready? <laughs> that comeback stops everything. Now, like again, this is man to man right now. So you're not gonna better really get the effect of what it can do to a zone, but it'll tear man and man up. You catch him in man, you want that wheel route. Again, if you run this play, do not look for the deep pass right away. It's just not, because it develops a little slower, right? So you don't want to just sit there and look at that deep route all game long. You want people to have to stop that flat route and that slant. Because what happens is if they got to stop that flat route and that slant, they're going to start hard flatting you. If they start hard flatting you, again, I was looking for the deep ball, but the flat route was sitting on the sideline. You know what I mean? But if they, if they start hard flatting you, and this is when the deep route's going to get open, and your comeback sits on the sideline. So that comeback gets open too. And it's, it's just a read. This play is like you really can just read it. You're either going to get the circle and the flat. You got the comeback. All three of these routes, all four routes actually are dangerous. All right? But that route right there is the one you really want. That's five, six yards every time. And you want them, you want to throw that route more than the slant because most people are using the middle linebackers. So you want to throw that route because eventually they start getting tired of you throwing that route. And they got to do something to cover it. You know what I mean? Football is about adjustments. So you give them that route, come out every drive. Every drive, throw that route. Come out, run something different, come back to it, throw that route. You know what I mean? Run something different, come back to it, throw that route. Because it sits on the sideline, even if ain't nothing there. Look, boom, it sits there. All right, so you throw that route, you get annoyed. And what happens is people are going to start getting annoyed by it, and they're going to make something happen on their defense to stop you from running that. And then when they try to stop you from running that, then you can look at the other routes developing. You know what I mean? Because if they come from out of that middle, the slant going to be there. I'm telling you right now, people playing with the middle linebackers right now, and the slants are still there. Because this man ain't got a real feel to it. It's not letting you just sit in the area, and because you're there, you can make the play. You actually got to make the play yourself now. So a lot of people are going to throw slants and drags and win ball games doing it. And there it go, right there. All right. Now, that, that safety got over top of that because, I'll be honest with you, I didn't have the time to make the throw I needed to make the throw. So I had to throw that hard into the sideline, but the pressure was in my face, so I had to let it go. But again, look, look at that check down. That's a first down when you need it, third and six. You know what I mean? Second and five, they first downs when you need it. West Coast style of offense where you just check down. Ain't nothing wrong with checking down. That check down is going to make people get annoyed. Look, the slant's there, but I don't want it. We going deep, one play touchdown. I'll at you. Look at that, let's go. They need to fix the acceleration on this game, and they will, but let's take a look at this. Let me tell you why this is working and why this play is dangerous, especially in the zone. Now, in man and man, you saw me get, him, get down the sideline, but in zone, here's what's going to happen when they play zone. This play is going to confuse the two defenders that they got to cover. The, the, the receivers they got to cover. Watch. Watch how I confuse them. I'm just showing you it. Look, look. You see him out of bounds? This guy that ran out of bounds and his man is downfield right now. He ran out of bounds. I'm going to show you why. Out of bounds. He ain't even covering nobody right now. You see that? Because he got rubbed off that comeback route. Watch. Boop, get out the way. You see that? Boop, get out the way. It's the route. That's why this play is dangerous. Right down the sideline. See ya. Now, that play is from the pocket. All this manipulating and roll out right, roll out left, and hope that the cornerback jumps the out route so you can throw the deep post. Get away from all that. They made the game too real this year. That is going to work, and it can get butt naked, but you need pocket stuff. You need to better sit in this pocket and make these type of plays right here. And if you can't do that, you might as well go ahead and pack your 19 back up, give it right back to EA. 
all that rolling out is over with because the AI, the DBs play way too good to, for you to continue just throwing these shot plays and hits. Holla at me. Like, subscribe. Death Row in the building. Matt and Death Row, you heard us. We and everybody lead taking over. Holla at me.